solve the system 2x minus y plus 2z is 10 x minus 2y plus z is 8 3x minus y plus 2z is 11 I'm going to solve the system by using Gaussian elimination uh, of an augmented matrix so the first thing I'll do is write the augmented matrix that is equivalent to this system 2, negative 1, 2, 10, 1, negative 2, 1, 8, 3, negative 1, 2, 11. The first goal in using the Gaussian elimination is to make the upper left uh, element a 1. And I'm going to use, um, I'm going to exchange rows. I'm going to exchange rows 1 and, rows, and row 2. Since I see a 1 already. So I'll rewrite this as 1, negative 2, 1, 8, 2, negative 1, 2, 10, 3, negative 1, 2, 11. All right, so now I'm going to leave row 1 alone, and I'm going to focus now on the 2 and the 3, and I want to make those zeros. So I've got the 1 in the corner, now I need to make the elements below it zeros. And I'm going to do this through a combination of, of addition and subtraction. All right, so to make this 2 a 0, I'm going to take its row, I'm going to take row 2, and I'm going to subtract a number of row 1's. In this case, I'll need 2 row 1's. Because 2 subtract 2 times 1 is 0. Similarly, I can take row 3 and subtract 3 row 1's. Top row stays the same. 1, negative 2, 1, 8. All right, now go term-wise, go element by element. 2 subtract 2 ones is 0. Negative 1 subtract 2 negative 2s is negative 1 plus 4, that's 3. 2 subtract 2 ones is 0. And 10 subtract 2 eighths. 10 subtract 16 is negative 6. Now going to the third row. 3 subtract 3 ones is 0. Negative 1 subtract 3 negative 2's. That's negative 1 plus 6 is 5. 2 subtract 3 1's. 2 subtract 3 is negative 1. 11 subtract 3 8's. 11 subtract 24 is negative 13. So now I have the 1 in the first element and zeros below it. Now I'm going to focus on the 3. I need to make the 3 a 1. So I'll multiply this row by 1 third and, and leave the other rows alone. So that gives me 1, negative 2, 1, 8, 0, 1, 0, negative 2, 0, 5, negative 1, negative 13. Now I will focus on the element below the most recent 1. I need to make that element a 0. So again, using uh, multiplication and subtraction, I'm going to take row 3 and subtract 5 row 2's. Rows 1 and 2 are going to stay the same. Now 
Now, zero, <coughs> zero subtract five, zeros is zero. Five subtract five ones is zero. Negative one subtract five zeros is negative one. Negative thirteen subtract five negative twos is negative thirteen add ten is negative three. All right, we're almost to row echelon form. We just have to take care of this negative one. So I will multiply row three by negative one. And so that gives me one, negative two, one, eight, zero, one, zero, negative two, zero, zero, one, three. So we now have row echelon form. We've got ones on the diagonal, zeros below it. And we can immediately tell the value of z, right? Because I have zero x looking at the third row. If I look at the third row, that tells me zero x plus zero y plus one z is three, and that implies that z is three. And in fact, looking at the second row, I can also see that zero x plus one y plus zero z is negative two, which implies that, z, that y is negative two. And so now all we have to solve for is x. So using substitution and the first row, I would have x minus two y plus z is eight. Substitutions gives x minus two times negative two, x plus four plus z plus three is eight. x plus seven is eight which implies that x equals one. So therefore, the solution of the system is the ordered triple one, negative two, three.